So at an interview at uh, DLL, it's a uh, it's a leasing company. It's quite a big organization. At an interview with Kuhn of the innovation uh, departments, uh, DLL is a leasing company under the Rabobank, a, a big uh, Dutch bank. Uh, they've got a portfolio of about 300 billion uh, euro. So it's quite a big company. They're working there almost uh, six six thousand people. And what they did, uh, they started a asset sharing platform uh, or a pilot for a platform. That's, that's also what the video uh, with the interview uh, with Kuhn is about. So you can check the video at our website or at youtube.com slash product edition. And also don't forget to subscribe. Uh, in this analysis video, I will uh, uh, share my thoughts about uh, the interview and about the, uh, the asset sharing platform of uh, DOL, uh, about the project process outcome, and of course my, my thoughts about uh, uh, the interview and the project. Uh, first about the project, I think it's, it's, it's really cool they did it. Uh, let's start by saying that because it's it's really a big company they're making lots of profits uh, so there isn't really a sense of urgency uh, of change and uh, what Kuhn said okay uh, we know the way we're now making money uh, it, it won't last forever and it's really easy to say uh, but it's also really hard to to involve the organization and also to and that's also one of the biggest challenges I think uh, with the project uh, is that it's quite hard uh, to because they, they really had two camps of people who believed in it and people who, who didn't believe in it. But it's it's good they did uh, the, the 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 projects. Um, but of course, I've got some doubt about their sense of urgency uh, because they are making lots of money, and so it's quite hard to to really uh, disruptive innovate. Uh, because with innovation with uh, corporates, uh, most of the time it's innovation uh, not really in the core of what they are doing. Because it's really hard to uh, to change that when you are having a really healthy uh, company or a company where you're making profits uh, these days. Uh, about uh, the the process, uh, so they did a pilot in the uh, groundwork industry. So they really picked on really, uh, uh, out of one really spe specific area of their business. So that's really really good. Um, they really. Um, deal it uh, as a uh, pilot, uh, a, a pilot concept. And I think uh, one of the challenges in doing that is it's really hard to 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 really get the full attention of the uh, stakeholders. And uh, talking about the stakeholders, they decided to do everything themselves because they first wanted to understand the process before they're going to, to, to deal with other stakeholders in the process like external uh, companies. Uh, so they, they also didn't uh, build a, a platform, uh, uh, so they really did a more a concept of the platform and talked to all the uh, customers about that and, and, and really tried to understand the process, but they didn't build the platform itself. And I think that's it's a mistake, uh, looking back to the process, because uh, when you want to do innovation and, and when you want to change something and also when you want to get stakeholders uh, with you in the process, especially also the customers, it's quite hard to, to get them um, connected to the process uh, when it takes about a year uh, when you don't have something physical like a platform where you can, 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 can point to. But I will come back at that uh, later. Um, the outcome of the pilot uh, was that uh, they really found out that the clients uh, that they want to facilitate with a platform, they were already doing business together. So they're already uh, working together and exchanging and, and, and sharing their, their resources. So they didn't really need a platform uh, to, to facilitate it because the added value of DHL was making the connections but they were able to do it uh, themselves uh, for, for a big part uh, and also to facilitate the contracts. But in the practice, they really experienced that it, it was quite a hassle for the, the, the customers uh, to deal with all the contracts. So they really want to do it more as a unofficial sharing deal than a really official and secure sharing deal. So it's a really nice, nice uh, interesting insights about that. Uh, positive for them was that the customers, they, they didn't expect uh, DHL to, to really be in this kind of processes. They're, that's really good for their, their marketing, of course. Um, last but not least, my thoughts about the, uh, uh, the, the process and the, the sharing uh, platform. Um, what Kuhn is saying in the, in the interview is uh, colleagues were allowed and invited, uh, and invited to participate. So it's it's sometimes it's 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 it looks like a really a, a loose project of okay come on uh, join us or uh, join me if you want uh, and I think it's much better when you really have a dedicated full time team uh, on the projects. 
um, they didn't. Uh, 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 they were investigating and researching about a S sharing platform, but in the end, they didn't build a platform themselves. Uh, I asked Kuhn, okay, why? Uh, the answer was because platform costs quite some money, and that's that's true. Uh, I think when you will want to buy to build a really uh, basic platform, it will cost you five or ten thousand euro. But in the end, uh, there were lots of colleagues involved in the project, uh, so their time is also money. And they also did some uh, events with, uh, with 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 customers, with racing, with boats in the harbor. So in the end, the project maybe not only out of pocket, but also the project also when you look at the internal costs and the internal hours uh, was quite an expensive project. So I think it would be good uh, looking back to uh, that they also would have uh, uh, put a really basic platform online. So you can reference people to, to check at uh, the website and then you can also um, publish on updates and that way, uh, especially with people who are not working in, in your organization, uh, are really much more dedicated to the project. Um, Last thing uh, what Kuhn says is uh, pilots never fail. Um, yeah, I think he's right about that. So it's good really when you uh, when you try. But I think the most important thing uh, in pilots that that, uh, that are not not successful or are not giving the results that you uh, wanted to is that you uh, uh, secure the lessons learned in your organization. So I'm really curious about how they did uh, did that. So that's my analysis of the DHL interview. You can check the interview with Kuhn at, uh, at our website. And uh, please subscribe at his YouTube channel to get uh, more videos in the next weeks. Thank you.